guys, welcome back to Hello RC. This is Jason, and today I've got something really cool out here at Crawler County, and this is the Traxxas TRX4 High Trail 21 Bronco. And no, they did not make a High Trail Bronco. I made this myself. So basically, what I did is I took my F150 and I swapped all the parts on it with the parts on the 21 Bronco that make it a High Trail and it turned out pretty darn cool. It looks really good, but we're gonna test it out here on the course today and see how it performs and what I'm gonna to need to work on in the future. So let's get started. Here we go. First run of the 21 Bronco High Trail out here at Crawler County today. And I've been wanting to do this for a while and finally got around to it. But it, if you have a High Trail TRX4 and another TRX4 that's not a high trail. It's a pretty easy swap to do this. It only took me about 45 minutes to complete. Um, basically, you swap the axles, the links, shift cables, uh, the servo mount, and just a few other little things. But really easy to do. And, you know, it's not permanent. You can always put it back if you don't like it. That's what makes RC so fun, tinkering with things and trying things, making them what they're not. But, you know, like I said, I've wanted to high trail this for a while. I think that is what has separated me from actually really liking this truck a lot more. And I do like it already. And this is going to be the 12.8 wheelbase. It's kind of in between the Blazer K5 high trail and then the F-150 and the K10. So kind of a medium length wheelbase. So not quite as unstable as the K5. And you're going to have a little more center clearance. than the uh, F-150 and the K-10. It's probably definitely going to have body rub. I think I just had a tire get hung up on the bumper there a minute ago. Yeah, I can see it right there. I did a little bumper trimming, but not a big deal. Yeah, coming down, it wants to bite into that front bumper. I could probably push the bumper out or even raise it if I need to. Gotta get wet. it's going to be able to do this or not. We're going to find out. I'm running a Hobbywing 1080 in this with a Crawlmaster Sport. Not sure what turn it is. And then I have a 40 kg Hexfly Torque Spec Servo doing the steering chores. Alright, pretty cool. Yeah, definitely gonna have to do a little trim in there in the front. But that's what this run's all about. See what it needs. One good thing is this one has the hard plastic wheel arches rather than the Lexan on the other high trails. So you're not gonna get that crazy Lexan rubbing sound. It's gonna be a little quieter even though it does rub. Man, that looks good. This truck's also got a lot of brass on it. Let's see if 
I can get turned around here to make this line. Don't have very much reverse programmed into this DSC right now. I'm not sure what this one was in before. Feels like it's only set up at about 25%. That was awesome. But if you don't have a high trail to do a swap, you can always get the long arm kit for the TRX-4. It's got all the same stuff that you would need. Yeah, when it has weight on the front end going downhill and trying to steer, it really bites into that front bumper. Here. That wasn't good. Let's see if we can't pull a little side hill action going on here. Let's see how this brass holds on. That's not bad at all. That's pretty street. It's pretty steep. Let me level out my camera here. Try to get a true angle of it. Don't know what's gonna happen here when my tire drops off this edge. It's at its tipping point. Oh my gosh. Nope, not quite. Alright, we'll go to one of the newest parts of the course. See if we can go up and over bedrock here. Kind of show off the ground clearance. This right here is a little bit difficult for a regular 1.9 rig. A little bite on the tires here. There we go. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Go through the danger pass. This is real easy to get your tires bound up in here. Good.
ground clearance. Oh, look at that. Do another ground clearance check up here. Uh, here's a climb here that I don't think the 21 Bronco has ever made. And we'll see if it can do it with 2.2s on it. I think the bumper and the tires might be the biggest issue here. goes easy Alright guys, I think we'll make our way to Pride Rock here and call it a day, but I have really enjoyed this thing today. It is better than I expected. Still running the stock tires on it. it does have our own 3D printed foams in it, but you know, a few little modifications here and there I think it still needs, and this thing could just be an absolute beast out on the trail. So. If you like this content make sure you subscribe and i'll have this thing out here again real soon see if i can improve this bumper and tire clearance here the back really had no issue at all and honestly the rubbing sound was very minimal just gets hung up on that bumper every now and then but that'll be an easy fix and here we are at pride rock and there's the 21 Bronco High Trail. If you like this content, make sure to subscribe, like, share with your friends, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.